I think Bonn is, is probably my second home. Um, I mean, we have been, I've been selling my fragrances at Barney's for 10 years now. They were the second people that um, sold my fragrances outside Paris. The first one happened to be called Ries von Norton. And, <laughs> and um, so, but we have been sort of growing together and now I live in New York partly for Barney's. Um, and so it's, it's a very natural thing for me to, to start this collection. Um, at Barney's. I was a fan of Barney's when I went uh, to uh, New York for the first time, which is uh, end of the 70s. And then to my big surprise, Barney's was also my first customer who bought my collection. And since then, uh, since 86, they continue to buy uh, my collection in an important way. So there is a very long relationship between uh, us two. So in that way, selling now and uh, the, the perfume at Barney's is, is really like uh, a very natural thing to do. My idea was to launch a new collection uh, of fragrance made around interesting people, uh, people that would inspire me. I have been doing, working with perfumers almost exclusively and in a very confined way for 12 years, and I thought it was time to bring somebody else to the party. Dries was a natural choice. We have known each other for a long time. Uh, we have many things in common. Uh, I adore what he does. So. It was very simple, I just called him. We didn't really collaborate uh, before this, this uh, creation of the perfume, but of course, uh, being a fan of everything what, what Frédéric was making, especially also the last perfumes like Portrait of a Lady, which I really I think is fantastic. Uh, for me, it was something like a very obvious choice that when uh, to say yes to uh, Frédéric's offer. There are several stages to, um, to creating a, a fragrance like this. First of all, you have to find a direction that Dries will like. So I, I went to see different perfumers, showed different versions to Dries. He chose two. We worked on these for a little while. Then one was naturally much better. Um, and we sort of turned this idea into a perfume through many, many, many trials. Making this perfume was a whole adventure and uh, it was far more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Um, Frederick proposed us a few starting points where we selected two, where we started to work around. And then it was really Frederick coming to Antwerp, us going to, uh, to New York, where again we were smelling and trying and, and giving comment in, in a very spontaneous way. It, it, it's something which is, it's, it has to come from your heart. It's not that you can say, okay, now I think that maybe there's a little bit too much of this. It's just something what you feel, what you have to say, because it's something so personal. When we started the perfume, uh, it was really Frederick. Uh, we had a few meetings before we even started. He came also to visit my house and my garden, uh, just to know me even better and, and to find accents in, in the person who I am. I made those images for Barney's um, that were renditions of what, what, what goes through my mind when I smell this fragrance. It's true that I all, I'm a very visual person and I'm a very instinctive person. And I link visuals to sense. Um, I didn't use proper synesthesia for Dries because I was not inspired by any of Dries's specific dress or collection. But when I went to see Dries, when I sort of immersed myself into his world, his home, his collections and things, there was an obvious flavor coming out of that. And so I try to translate that into a smell, but it's not proper synesthesia. It's a way of creating a synthesis of someone's world and then translating, translating it into mine.